Louisiana Monroe plus 44 and a half <laughs> against Texas. Maybe you've caught on by now. Sorry, Bro, Mike. This is some um, bullshit. I'm shooting shots today. This is yeah. some bullshit. All angles. Everyone's open, getting open it. fire. Yeah. Uh, LSU minus 24 and a half gets UCLA <laughs> <laughs> and the over of 55 Trend and a breaker. half. Good evening, Degenerates, Woo! and welcome back to another episode of Degen Hours. With it Texas is on top. college football week four. Texas is your number one team in the country. Yeah. Hook and we are horns, back. Baby. Last week was an interesting one. Oh, yeah. Um, kind of a destruction on the cards across yeah. the board. Uh, yeah. We have a new leader in percentages. We'll throw up the records right here. Michael is our new percentage leader. Who would have thought, baby? No, Who definitely thought? not me. Mike yeah. is 55% on the year, mm. so I'll give you your flowers. Yeah. Definitely not first in NFL, I'll tell you that. No, but we're talking college Yeah, right we're now, talking buddy. college, so, so let me have my yeah, moment. 55% on the year. Ryan with a miserable... Week. Not eh, not miserable, I'd say. I mean, we're not talking mortals yet, but he's 52% on the year, and Mario and me are both 45 and 44%, so... Definitely not good for us. Hey, yeah. but we're in striking range. We're in striking range. Yeah. No one's too far ahead. Mike's definitely eleven percent ahead of you, but we'll see. That's still, you know, it's yeah. week four. We got a lot of yeah. season left. A lot of a lot of runway. And the mortals, I mean, zero and four. Yeah, that was the mortal parlay two weeks ago went three and one. We missed by one point. I feel like we shouldn't talk uh, about this. Or no, we missed by a couple on that over for SMU. But Ryan missed us the mortal parlay, and then not only did he <laughs> miss first this week, but all three of us missed after. Yeah. yeah. So. Brutal week in college football for the mortals. Um, can we blame Ryan and him starting the? We can blame Ryan for... because he is officially relegated. He's zero yeah. and three yeah. in his mortal locks. You'll see the records. Um, it's it, not great yeah. across the board. I mean, I'm one and two, and you're both two and one. So yeah. last week was definitely a painful one. But Ryan, who is not here, as Ryzy gets relegated, of course. Real yeah, convenient. I mean, yeah. He just he can't be on the pod. Out. But um, <laughs> he'll definitely be. I mean, we'll show you his picks. We have his picks for the end of the episode. We don't know them yet. Yeah. But the portal, the parlay this week is just us three. Yep. yep. So if you're subscribed every week, we put, a th- uh, we give you the chance to win a thousand bucks. So we parlay our best bets. It was one pick away from hitting two weeks ago, and last week, like I said, <coughs> you know, we airballed it. But it is the a new sharps week. are back. The sharps are back. Yep. It's a new week, and we have some huge games. So I want to get right into them. First game is an electric game in the Big Ten. Oh yeah. USC at Michigan. Yep. Huge game for Michigan and SC, really for both these programs. Because really? SC has caught their stride. They're looking good. Everyone's saying, hey, you know, maybe they're really in the mix in this Big Ten. Uh-huh. And Michigan, you know, got stomped on by Texas, bounced back big last week. So uh-huh. USC, five and a half point road favorites at Michigan. I don't know if anyone would have predicted that line preseason. Yeah. Uh, the total is 45.5. Michael, I'm starting with you here. What do you see in this game? Uh, I see a... Just going to put it out right now. I see a massive UFC win, USC win. Um, I think that Lincoln Riley has been prepping for this game for a really long time since the schedule came out. He knew what the Big Ten was in store for him. This is their first in-conference game. And, you know, he. I think he knows what it's about. Not only that, but because it's the first conference game, all the players are going to be extra juice. I think there's going to be an extra you know, step and an extra mentality there. Mm. Uh, conversely, I think Michigan is coming off an unconvincing win. You were talking about that they had a big win last week. It was 28-18 to 18 against Arizona State. Um, that, to me, is not impressive. Uh, and I also think... Wait, uh, Arkansas, uh, Arkansas State. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah. sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, 28-18 to 18 against Arkansas State. A team that they should be burying and blowing out. Honestly, them laying... 18 is embarrassing. I think these Michigan boys are probably really disappointed and they understand that their their season is pretty much done, in my opinion. Um, well, I and think they haven't lost a conference game yet. They yeah. haven't lost so a conference game, go- but you know, I I just can't see them getting mentally behind this game as much as, you know, if they were undefeated, if they even lost by a touchdown to Texas, they're like, you know, we lost you a number one. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you know, we could still kind of make a name for ourselves, but you know, when you lose by so much and then you come back the next week and don't blow out a team that's unranked and mm. really unknown, that's really demoralizing. And I don't think they're going to be able to rally back, especially going on the road into SC. No, Call Oh, Michigan, I'm sorry. Michigan's home. No, you're right. Uh, sorry. But still, I don't I just, I just, don't know if they're going to be able to rally behind it. I think USC is going to take this in a big, big way. So I agree with you on what happens in the game. 
okay. but not for the same reasons. Okay. So I love UFC so much. <clears throat> minus five and a half. This is almost my biggest bet of the week. It'll definitely be one of them. Um, but for a different reason. So Michigan hasn't played a Big Ten game yet. You know, their season hasn't even started. I mean, there's 12-team playoff. If you go to the Big Ten championship, you're in the college football playoff. So they're not – they can still contend, you know, from a strictly <clears throat> schedule-speaking perspective. They're still fine. But there's not much they're going to be able to do about this game. They're just not good. Like, I've said this before the season. I said this when they played Texas. And even looking at them last week, you know, winning by a decent margin against a bad team – um, this team's not very good. They don't have anyone at quarterback. I, you guys were talking about that orgy kid. And that's like the true freshman. He doesn't play. He doesn't play. He's their yeah. backup. He's not even that fantastic. He doesn't throw the ball when he's in. Um, you know, I'm not impressed with really even their running game. Donovan Edwards hasn't even really shown me any reason to get really hyped about him. And their defense is not good. They're just not good at all. So USC, especially with the Lincoln Riley offense, is just going to dog walk Michigan. So yeah. I'm all over SC here. Not taking a side on the total because I don't know what Michigan's going to do. But SC for sure covers this five and a half. Um, so I'm happy we're aligned on that. But I was just quickly as a forward looking at the rest of this SC schedule. I don't see a loss. And it's weird to say. So just, you know, I'll pass it off to you for the game in a sec. But they go home against Wisconsin at Minnesota. Home against Penn State. I don't think Penn State's good either. But that's their only hard game remaining. Then they go Maryland, Rutgers, Washington, then home against Nebraska at UCLA, and then home against Notre Dame. So, I mean, there are games they could lose. I think they might be favored in every game the rest of the season. So the yeah. tide is definitely turned on USC from where they thought preseason, you know, they were at that eight and a half win number. Yeah. To now I'm like, dude, you know, they could go 12 and 0, they can go 11 and 1. But no matter what. how Penn State does, too. If sure. Penn State starts looking good, then it could be. Yeah, but I, I think I know what Penn State is. I've seen them the last couple of weeks. But um, yeah, I mean, this week I think is definitely a dub for USC. Yeah, um, yeah. This game was interesting because initially I was like, "Oh, USC mm. minus five and a half." Initially, um, but then something about this game, you know, it is a Michigan home game, mm -hmm. and you know they did get blown out at home against Texas, but I think Texas is the best team in the country. Yes, uh, I don't think USC is the best team in the country. Um, something still kind of yet to see with this USC defense is like how these linemen can go against, like, some just big, you know, big Michigan. 10 boys that, I mean, you you know they're going to run the ball. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, I have a few little questions about this USC defense, how, how they're going to be um, mm. physicality-wise. I'm not as worried, I guess, I would say about the offense for USC. I think Michigan's defense is going to show up. I do think they're going to have a good game. Um so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be close. So what's your what's your pick? Oh, it's your mortal lock. Got to save this for the mortals. Wow, there you have it. Really I mean, quick, really quick. What a game, the mortal. <laughs> <That's, laughs> wow, it's actually insane. Uh, really quick, I do just want to say I'm also taking the under because I think although USC is gonna win the game and they're probably gonna show like a pretty strong sense of dominance. Uh, it's still Michigan. It's still a tough place to play. Um, and I think, you know, it's going to take a little bit was to get a, that. Was a tough place to play. Could I don't be. think anymore. I'm uh, not impressed by this. Not as big of a play but as I, I'm taking as a spread. We'll have to wait to see what Mario wants until uh, until the mortal locks. I'm this excited. is one of the three bets you'll get for your free roll parlay, by the way, if you're a subscriber and you comment and you like the videos. But Very next exciting. game, another ranked matchup. Big game in the Big 12. Utah at Oklahoma State. Yep. Yeah. I mean, this is... This is one of those games that's going to decide who's up there with, you know, Kansas State for the yeah. best team in the Big 12. Um, Utah is one and a half point road favorites. The total is 52.5. Mario, I'm going to come back to you on this one. Uh-huh. What do you like in this game? I mean, both these teams look pretty solid for for the Big 12. Yeah, I mean, both these teams look okay. Um, Utah has their moments. I, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily blown away by their defense. Usually that's what you think of when you think of Utah football. Yeah. It's like, oh, they always have this defense. Uh, mm. Seventh-year quarterback Cam Rising. Say, yeah. Uh, is it eighth now? I don't know who. Seventh or eighth, something yeah, like that. Yeah, I, mean, I stopped counting after yeah, five. He's been here for a while. Uh, <laughs> he's, I think he's older than some NFL quarterbacks. <laughs> oh, um, for sure is. By a lot of them. And um, I don't know. I, I'm just leaning Oklahoma State here. Uh, I didn't like how Utah looked last week against Utah State. I get that it's like a rivalry. Mm -hmm. But it's still Utah State. They're still the team, you know, that's they're not good. Awful. Yeah. I mean, yeah. scored zero points against USC. Yeah. Um I don't know. Oklahoma State just kind of has a fun team. I think 
I don't know. I, I just don't like this Utah team. Something about them. I can't. I don't have like a good analysis of what I don't like about them. Yeah. I just think they're very, very mid level, and I think Oklahoma State, um, at home, can. I don't know. They'll have the crab beside them. I think they'll, they'll show up. Yeah, that's kind of my logic. I like the home team here. So Oklahoma State um, plus one and a half is the home underdog, and I like the money line there. My favorite bet's the under, in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think either of these teams are good. Like. Oklahoma State's played two games. Yeah. They beat Arkansas by eight at home, and then they beat Tulsa by 35. Like, yeah. neither of those really impressed me yeah. that Unconvincing. much. Unconvincing. Utah played Southern Utah week one. Not a real team. Literally not a real team. FCS. Um, they beat Baylor by 11, unranked Baylor, and then they beat Utah State 38-21. So, like, none of that, I don't know. Yeah, Neither of these teams get me crazy. excited. I don't, I think, you know, there'll be a lot of offensive mistakes. I don't think the defenses are good, but I also don't think the offenses are that efficient. Yeah. So, I see a lot of turnovers in this game. Um, just give me the underdog and the home team. So, Oklahoma yeah. State and the under. Uh, well, to make it consensus, uh, I'm also going to go with Oklahoma State. Consensus so, pick. Bang, boom, bang, boom, bang, 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 bang. But, yeah, I think it. Very ironically, these teams kind of switched offenses. Um, you Oklahoma State hasn't really found anything on the ground with Ollie Gordon, which is crazy, but they've been picking it up a lot with Alan Bowman. Um, and so, you know, he's averaging 322 and a half yards a game, which is, you know, not bad. Uh, and Utah is at 22 yards a game, yeah, Jesus, which not bad, not bad, That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> and then Utah can't find or er, can't find anything in the air, but they're all run games. So I thought it was pretty funny that they just switched offenses. They but did. uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Oklahoma State here. I think the home dogs, the crowd rally be, rallies behind and home field advantage plays a big factor here. So yeah, I think Ryan might have something to say about this if he was on the pod. Yeah. Because he's a big Utah guy most yeah. of the time. Yeah. But well, of course. Yeah. He's not here, so fuck it. Consensus. Yeah. yeah. Let's run. Dang. Uh last big game before we get into all of our cards. And this is my favorite game of the week. Oh, Same yeah. here. I am so Same excited here. for this game. Tennessee at Oklahoma. Tennessee, six and a half point road favorites. Total 57.5. I'll go ahead and kick us off on this one. I think this is a rude awakening for Nico. Everyone's obsessed with Nico Ilman. Whatever. I'm a Libra. 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 Everyone's saying, you know, the next coming, you know, could be Heisman in a year or two, maybe even this year, depending on how they keep playing. I don't believe it. I don't think he's that all that in a bag of chips. I don't think he's fantastic. Not a believer? Not a believer. Jackson Arnold's starting to turn it up a little bit, but I don't even think this offense needs to do anything. Brent Venables, just from a biased Clemson perspective, because I watched him coach good teams on defense for years, almost a decade, against freshman quarterbacks is the most dangerous coach to go against in the entire country, and it's not even close. What he will do to Nico in this game will be studied because people are going to be caught off sides heavy on this. I don't like. I know what it's at early. You know, it's kind of mixed on the public. All the public at kick at kickoff seem to be on Tennessee because they've been covering spreads. They're hitting the over in the first half by themselves. They're playing Duquesne. They're playing nobody. They're throwing yeah. touchdowns. It's looking great. Um, and Oklahoma's look kind of spotty. This is the biggest trap game of the week. This is Oklahoma wins this outright, but they easily cover the six and a half. And this is just the rudest awakening for Nico that you'll ever be able to see. They're going to throw blitzes that he's never even conceived of or seen before. They're going to be throwing safeties, corners, weird linebacker blitzes. They're going to have people drop that are showing. He's going to throw multiple interceptions. The crowd's going to be in this the entire game. Oklahoma's undefeated. They're moving. They're saying, hey, maybe we can do something in the SEC. We've seen what Texas is doing. They just moved over to the SEC. They're already ranked one. We're undefeated, too. We play Texas. We go beat Tennessee, have a game against Texas. Who knows? Oklahoma's going to be juiced up. This is a big home game for them. So I am all over Oklahoma. I'm obsessed with this pick, and I think it's really just going to come down to coaching. Nothing to do with the players. Nico's not even going to – it's not going to be his fault. I don't blame him. He's a true freshman quarterback going into the most hostile environment he's ever had. First road SEC game. For, and he's going against Brent Venables with this undefeated Oklahoma defense. So it's just, yeah. Do you like uh, the total? Uh, I don't want to bet on the total because I don't know how many points are going to be scored. I just mm-hmm. think there's going to be turnovers by Nico that are get, cost him the game. I think Oklahoma's going to be pretty consistent because we haven't really seen what Tennessee's defense is. Yeah, They haven't played anyone. Literally nothing. They've, yeah. Them and Ohio State have the two easiest first three games. But Oklahoma hasn't played anyone either. 
No, I know. I, that's why I'm Houston. saying I don't want to. I don't know what. I mean, I know what their defense is because I know Brent Venables' defense is. They're all the exact same. They're always the exact same. Linebackers that get targeting every <laughs> single time and just like the most insane blitzes you've ever seen. It's his scheme that you know. Tennessee's defense hasn't had to do anything. I mean, their offense scoring 30 points a quarter before Nico comes out. So, you know, I'll pass it off to you. This is, you know, your rival, Oklahoma. So I'm interested to see how you like, what you want in this game or what you think is going to happen. But no, I just know, I know what Oklahoma is going to bring. I don't know what Tennessee is going to bring. And they have a true freshman quarterback. So give me plus six and a half all day. Um, I could not disagree more. Uh, and genuinely, the re- so, you know, just every year I kind of watch Oklahoma pretty pretty specifically in the peripheral because they're our biggest rival, and so I want to know what they're up to. Mm-hmm. You know, know thy enemy type shit. And uh, <laughs> here's the thing is this is just not – Brett, Brett Venables could be great. He's probably an amazing, very intelligent coach. Defensive Probably. coach. Yeah. Defensive coach. Who the knows? thing is, is that he just doesn't have the weapons necessary to execute like what you're saying. And here's the reason why I think that is the case. Over the past three weeks, Grant, like you said, neither team has played anyone, really. Tennessee and Oklahoma hasn't really played anybody relevant. But with that being said, Tennessee has given up just 13 points, while Oklahoma has given up 34 points over the last three weeks. Oklahoma's smallest winning margin over those games is four against Houston, whereas Tennessee's smallest winning margin was 41. Uh, I think that just those two things alone kind of show that this Tennessee defense is able to shut down Jackson Arnold, um, who is, in my opinion, get, catching his stride. But, you know, I think he's going to be going up against something that he's not going to be able to take down. This is some, and conversely... This is CNN reporting right here on the on those stats, though. I have to call you out. I have to call you out on that. Please. Let's just say the games they Moderator, played. can we get a fact check? So, Oklahoma... Please. No, no, those, the, the numbers are correct, but you're not hearing the teams behind them. But so, Oklahoma played Temple, right? Which yeah. is probably on par with the two teams Tennessee's played in Chattanooga and Kent State. Okay. They're all just garbage, right? Yes. Ten- Oklahoma beat Temple 51 to 3. Yeah. Tennessee beat Chattanooga 69 to 3 and Kent State 71 0. Throw all I can think you can literally throw all those games away. Those aren't real teams. Okay. Right? So like just because Tennessee's played more of those not real teams doesn't mean their defense is better. Okay, then Oklahoma's played Houston and Tulane, which aren't ranked teams, but, but let's okay. not throw those out as, you know, the Chattanoogas and Kent States of the world. Yeah. Tulane was a ranked team last year. And wins a lot of football games. They're a nine, you know, eight nine win football team. And Houston definitely not like the worst team in the league. That's also the game Jackson Arnold played really bad. And then the game that Tennessee did win, which was impressive, was NC State. But NC State, since that we've kind of seen what they are, they're really bad. You mm-hmm. know, there's a close spread now. They're supposed to lose by twenty points a week. But so I just want to say, you know, I don't think the comparison of thirteen points to thirty allowed in three games. Either you know, by the way, both those defenses aren't allowing any points against anyone. Oklahoma's for sure played harder teams than Tennessee, but continue. It's not that, like that, no, you're right. I don't think you're Tennessee's right. defense has been more impressive than Oklahoma's. Like the point you were making. That's was. I I see what you're saying there, as well. Um, you know that that's fair. I just think it is, it's something to be said that although Tulane and Houston are yes better than the three that Tennessee had played, which you had mentioned. Um, you know, I thirty four points is still thirty four points, and I'm afraid of you know what their defense is or how fortified their defense will be um really quick last thing i'm going to throw out jackson arnold so far again hasn't really played anyone is throwing 62 percent for 484 yards whereas nico's throwing uh for 71 percent for 698 yards both of them have seven touchdowns but i mean you know clearly one is more efficient and it's not just like it's really short behind the behind the line of scrimmage throws to get that high percentage, like he's getting more yards. So for sure. No, there Tennessee's offense definitely looks like the so most. You're on Tennessee and I'm on I'm on Tennessee. Under just over or just Tennessee. Just Tennessee. All right, Mario. Yeah. Let's hear it. Tie break this one. Um yeah, this was an interesting game. First and foremost, I love the over. Um I think I'm leaning right now. Actually no, Tyler convinced me. I was leaning on Oklahoma, Tyler just Push me over the edge. Uh, give me Oklahoma plus the six and a half. I think they stay within the number. Um, don't know if they went outright, but I definitely think I wouldn't be surprised if they did. And I, I think it's going to be a really close game. 
I do think whatever team is losing, like, they're not going to go out easy. Like, I don't think Tennessee shows up and scores 13 points or say vice versa with mm-hmm. Oklahoma. Like, I think both teams go out swinging. Both quarterbacks are just going to, you know, throw Be the ball. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there might be a lot of turnovers, like Tyler said. Either way, I don't think that's going to deter any of them from continuing to, like, throw the ball. You know, throw no. risky balls, throw 50 yard bombs. Um, so I just like the over in this. And yeah, give me, give me the home team plus six and a half. I mean, so I, what was your deciding factor for choosing Oklahoma? Because I was already leaning, leaning I was it. leaning on them. I think this is kind of like the first real matchup for both teams. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I, I just, I like a f- rude awakening for Jackson Arnold and Nico. Like both, I think it's just going to be like, a pressure game for them, and I mm. like both of them just kind of, I don't know, not blowing one team out. Yeah. And uh, But I think both these teams put up points. So. And also, Fair you know, the home field advantage for young quarterbacks is definitely a thing. Yeah. Like, we have two very inexperienced quarterbacks in games yeah. where they both might be shaky. You know, you kind of lean towards the home team, and they're getting six and a half. So they don't even have to win. That is a law of points. It's a law, that is a law of points. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll see. I, almost, I was thinking about mortaling the over, but... Liked mortal, another game we know better. what games are mortal on. I liked another game a little bit better. All right, well, we'll Fair see. Enough. All right, well, let's get into the cards. All right, kicking the college card off with none other than Colorado. There it is. Minus oh. one and a half there against Baylor. And the over 52 and a half because it's bounce back Colorado time, baby. Oh. Uh, next game, Georgia Tech plus 10 and a half against Louisville because Georgia Tech, automatic. Uh, Washington State minus 13 and a half against San Jose State. And the over 55 and a half because Washington State cannot stop scoring. Uh, Maryland, first time betting on them this year. Uh, minus 19 and a half against Villanova. Uh, Villanova sucks. Uh, NC State plus 19 and a half against Clemson. Mm. Uh, you will see a trend in my card. Sorry, Tyler. Uh, Marshall plus 39 and a half against Ohio State. Sorry, Ryan, he's not here. And cameraman Kevin, uh, but Ohio State, not a believer. Uh, Louisiana Monroe plus 44 and a half <laughs> against Texas. Maybe you've caught on by now. Sorry, Bro, Mike. This is some um, bullshit. I'm shooting shots today. This is yeah. some bullshit. All angles. Everyone's open, getting open it. fire. Yeah. Uh, LSU minus 24 and a half gets UCLA <laughs> <laughs> and the over of 55 Trend and breaker. a half. Yeah. Uh, I'm on an island this week. You can't be touched. I'm by, I, I'm by myself. Uh, Northern Illinois get to bet on them now. Uh, minus 13 mm-hmm. and a half against Buffalo. Missouri minus 21 and a half against Vanderbilt. FSU get their first win. Minus two and a half against Cal. Uh, Miami shout out Cam Ward. He's balling. Min- minus 16 and a half against South Florida. Iowa, minus two and a half against Minnesota. Minnesota sucks. Uh, Bowling Green, also my upset of the week, uh, plus 22 and a half against Texas A&M. They're going to stay wow. within this number. No, it's, hmm. a bi- it's a big week. Upset of the week, so they'll win. I mean, don't tell me the odds. Oh, uh, Ole Miss, minus 36 and a half against Georgia Southern. Boston College, minus six and a half against Michigan State. Boise State Ashton Gentry legacy game uh, minus thirteen and a half or thirty eight and a half sorry <laughs> versus fourteen yeah I wish it was thirteen uh, minus thir- thirty eight and a half against Portland State they're not a real school and oh. last but not least Kansas State minus seven and a half against BYU there it is that is the card wow all right um I'm not starting my card the way I am every- I have been every week okay so Air Force no I'm Air sunsetting Force. Air Force I'm oh. sorry Air Force I can't, retire. I can't keep getting losses on the card because I keep just saying the words Air Force and don't watch the game and huh. they get killed that's what I'm doing with Colorado this week but I'm still sticking with the Armed Forces I have a new Armed Forces <laughs> division Navy. starting the new way every week Navy plus Bang. nine and a half at home against Memphis Bang. Um, the games you already talked about SC minus five and a half Oklahoma State plus one and a half and the under 52 and a half in the Oklahoma State Utah game Oklahoma plus six and a half against Tennessee as well. All right, now the games we haven't talked about. Syracuse minus nine and a half at home against Stanford. Nebraska minus eight and a half at home against Illinois. Washington State minus 13 and a half at home against San Jose State. Bang. West Virginia, I'm back on them. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm Just sorry. Couldn't, couldn't resist. Minus two and a half at home against Kansas. I saw Kansas lose last week. They're not good. Yeah. Um, Clemson minus 19 and a half at home against NC State. Go Tigers. NC State's terrible. We covered this in the first half. Oh, this is they do. I I mean I saw something about that offense no. last week. Don't get me started about Clemson. We're back. We're so back. First half they cover. National championships back on the back door fourth quarter. And we're back. covering 19 and a half. Virginia Tech <laughs> minus three at home against Rutgers. Georgia Tech plus 10 and a half and outright against Louisville. 
Um, LSU minus 24 and a half at home against UCLA. This should be a first half spread, not a game spread. Uh, Vanderbilt <laughs> plus 21 and a half at Missouri. Missouri, surprisingly, does not cover spreads this year. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to this. Last week, should have lost to Boston College. They didn't. Georgia Tech, um, or sorry, Vanderbilt might get the job done this time. But they're definitely saying the number. Cal, plus two and a half at FSU, and you're taking the money line on this all day of the week. FSU does not get their first win. They're going to bench DJ <laughs> after this week. Uh, Miami, minus 16 and a half at South Florida. Like Mario said, Cam Ward is him. Plus 410 for Heisman odds. I got him at plus 2200 preseason. Iowa, minus two and a half at, Mich- at Minnesota. Colorado, minus one and a half at home against Baylor. There we go. I'm oh. riding with you. They're going to go to three oh. and one. And last, Oregon State, minus five and a half at home against Purdue. All right. That, those, are, those are two cards. Uh, starting off with the games that we already talked about. Uh, all right, sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Starting off with the games that we already talked about. Uh, USC minus five and a half going against Michigan. USC, Michigan under 45 and a half. Like I said, still a hard place to play. Oklahoma State plus one and a half against Utah. Tennessee minus six and a half against Oklahoma. Now, starting off the cards after the games that we already talked about, like I do every week while we're number one, Texas, hook them horns, baby, minus 44 and a half against UL Monroe. They fucking suck. You don't know about Monroe. Uh, I know that they suck no, and they're irrelevant. You don't know yet. Um, Syracuse, minus nine and a half against Stanford. Stanford has a long journey over. They're not going to be able to play. Uh, Ohio versus Kentucky, under 42 and a half. Uh, LSU, UCLA, under 55 and a half. Your team is anemic. I hate to tell you, but you guys suck. Uh, Washington State, minus 13, and a, minus 13 and a half against San Jose State. Clemson, go Tigers, real Tigers. Uh, minus 19 and a half shots. against NC State. Yeah, you start shooting first, I'll fire back, bitch. Um, Ohio State, minus 39 and a half against Marshall. Shout out, Kevin and Ryan. Cameron, Kevin, sorry, that's your real name. Uh, Missouri, minus 21 and a half against Vandy. First time they cover all year. They're going to start it right now. Turn the train around, bitches. Nope. Um, Arkansas, plus three and a half against Auburn. F*** Auburn. Uh, Georgia Tech, plus ten and a half against Louisville. I'm on the Georgia Tech train. Call me a Georgia Tech. No, you're not on the train. No, I'm on the train. No, Miami, I'm, I'm Cam Captain Ward, shout out him. Minus 16 and a half we'll going against South Florida. Northwestern, Washington, over 42 and a half. Boston College, minus six and a half versus Michigan State. I know not red bandana game, but they're still going to cover. Do it. Iowa, Minnesota, over 36 and a half. Way too low. Iowa overs. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Bang. Oh, that's it. What a way to end it. What a way to end um, it. And then we got Ryan's card. We'll throw it up right here. He's not here with us, but this is it. And there you have it. Well, the most exciting part of the week is the Mortal Lock Parlay. The not just for we us. Pay him. Where yeah. we bet the most on our games. Oh, yeah. But it's exciting for you. If you're a subscriber, what we do is put money every week on what's typically a four-leg parlay. Uh, you'll notice there's only three of us here. Yeah. One of us has been relegated, which is Ryan. He's 0-3 in mortals. You're, you're welcome for taking yeah. him out of this yeah. parlay for you. You weren't winning because of him. We would have hit it if it wasn't for him. Um, but now Facts. there's only three legs. So if you're subscribed and you like and comment on this video or in the NFL video, and these three picks hit... We're paying one person 450 bucks. It's a raffle. $450 it's a dollars this week. That's a lot of money for just yeah, liking, yeah. commenting, and being subscribers. So if you're not, so, go ahead and do that now. And then we are going to get right into the parlay, starting with Michael. First leg of the parlay is bang. this one. All right. Well, kicking it off, getting back into the place where we were two weeks ago and, you know, not last week when you we were missed. Two uh, yeah, I was 2-0. And, and we're getting the train back on track because yeah. we're going to get ready to pay y'all. And... My mortal this week is Ohio State Marshall over 51 and a half. Ooh. I love this total. I think this total is way too low. And here's a little stat for you because I love stats. Ohio State has led the nation in offense this year pretty much for production. They're averaging 543 and a half yards per game. A lot of yards. Along with 54 points per game. So they can cover this by themselves. Wait, they're playing Marshall. They're playing Marshall. How many weeks in a row do they just get to play nobody? A lot. Every week. Yeah. Pretty much every week because <laughs> the Big Ten on? is also irrelevant now. They, they're, it's a yeah, shit yeah. conference. I like that. Um, so I absolutely love this total. I thought the total should be like 64 and a half Ooh. or whatever. Um, so I, again, love it. 
Marshall also just lost 31 14 to Virginia Tech. Yep. Uh their biggest exposure is the run is the ground game. Ohio State has Quinchon Judkins. Like what and Travion Henderson. And Travion Henderson. Like what the f do you think you're gonna do against them? Nothing. Uh Nothing. so Ohio State Marshall over 51 and a half. Ooh, there you have it. Um this bet's a grimy one. So I was Grimer. I was heating up in college, went to NFL, got slapped on the Cowboys. I'm back in college, never going back to NFL. If I ever <laughs> tell you an NFL pick, it doesn't count. You can bookmark this. Can we hit you? No, but you can just oh. make me pick a college game. Uh, I love this game. This is a total spot game. No one's betting this line. Okay. No one's betting this line. No, okay. no one's going to like this line. Oh, God. But it's going in the parlay because I know it's going to hit. Is it the Nevada you, game? You, the viewer, know it's going to hit. Akron, plus 27 and a half. I love it. At South Carolina. I love it. Oh, South Carolina's whoa. quarterback whoa. got injured last yep. game. Yep. They didn't put him back in because he said he wasn't mobile enough. Yep. It's not going to heal in a week. He's either going to try to go and still be injured and not be able to do the one thing he does well, which is run, or the backup's going to play, who was, did nothing. Was, I love terrible. that logic. He did nothing. I love that. Akron, no, they're picking it up a little. They're not good. They're not <laughs> good. But they can they score just points. Hang on. They can score points, and this is enough points to where I think you're going to be comfy in this number. I think South Carolina probably wins by 14, so we'll never get too, too close to this. Bang. And um, South Carolina's pretty discouraged after last week. The stadium's not going to be as excited for an Akron game. Everyone leaves that stadium early anyways. Thanks. Second half should be relatively quiet. I think you'll get some chop back and forth. So Akron plus 27 and a half. Bang! All right. Last leg of the parlay. Last leg of the parlay. We know what, we know what game it's on. Come on, You, you know it's in the USC-Michigan game. Bring um, it home. And... You guys, aren't, you guys might oh, like no. it. You might is it Michigan? It. It's Michigan. The mortal this week is going to be USC minus five Bang! and a half. Consensus. <laughs> Miller Moss, baby. Bang. Boom. Lincoln Riley's is. offense. Consensus pick and a mortal. Michigan. Out. Fuck Michigan. Fuck Michigan. Trash ass school. Oh, I love Fake that. Fake school. Fake school. Oh. Well, there you have it. Stupid if color of blue. Ohio it's State. shitty. The Ohio State over hits Akron plus 27 and a half and USC minus five and a half. We are paying one person who likes, comments, and is subscribed $450. I'm used to saying four, that because we have four legs, but it's three legs, $450. Still a whole Ryan's lot of money. Idiot. And a much higher chance of hitting. Much higher, higher chance of hitting. Uh, this would have hit two weeks ago if yeah. it was just us three. So sure. you have that going that for you. True. Um, And last, Ryan's mortal. His mortal, he's not here, so it doesn't count in the parlay, but we're still keeping track of it. He needs to hit a mortal to get out of relegation to rejoin the parlay. So his mortal this week is Dolphin Seahawks over 41 and a half. But he's 0-3, so if you want to ride, let's <laughs> Skylar Thompson legacy game? Nah, yeah. I can't. Who knows? Ryan, you're very sharp. I know you're going to get back in into the parlay with us. You didn't even week. believe that. Did he you? didn't believe that. No, I he did. said it. No, I did. he just you said called it. him an idiot earlier. No, yeah, I did. No, you I, said I, it. I didn't so mean when Ryan it. I was doing watches it. this, he's going to be like all right, I don't have to shit on Mike. No, I was doing it for jokes. No, Mike's fake. He was all nice to me, and then he, uh, he just no, says the shit on the... He loves to flip. He loves to flip. Yeah, he, loves to he, flip. he plays both sides of the fence. He yeah. loves to swing oh. both ways. Both ways. He swings both We've ways. Seen his swing. We've seen his nope. swing. If you're we a viewer, you know his swing. You know his swing. You know how he plays. I'm a loyal... Um, loyal. But there you have it. That's the Mortal Parlay. Mario, you got to yell at these. You got to yell at them. Yeah, Let them yeah, know yeah, what's yeah, going on. Tell them what to do before closing the video. Yeah, Yeah, no, okay. Last week, we had four people. Uh-huh. This week is three people. Three only people. Three so you Try better be up. subscribed. You Do better it. like, leave three a legs. comment, turn that notification bell Do on, it. share this channel with a Four. friend. Do it. And let's pay you this week. Let's hit this parlay. You're getting paid. It's bucks. like an extra day at work, but even better because you're not doing anything for it. Bang. What Mike said. We'll see you Whatever next week. Whatever that Woo was. Enjoy the college games. Bang.